Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. So today's video is going to be all about me sketching out my day. I occasionally do this. A lot of times I like to add sketches and I like to add photos all in one page. Um, and I have actually gotten away from drawing everyday objects. I have been focusing on, as most of you know, botanicals. And I just want to make sure that in this little sketchbook that I have, that I am going to be drawing a bit of everything. I don't want to, to focus on one thing. I would like to be able to have a variety of things, kind of like an Omni journal, but maybe not exactly how most people think of an Omni journal. But anyway, what I've done here is I have sketched out some objects. I've been making a lot of notebooks lately, so I went ahead and sketched one of those. Um, I have left a space here for either a photo or for journaling, as well as right here. Um, I figured maybe one place I could put a photo and the other place I could do some journaling. When I actually journal in here, it's not like I heart pour into this journal. If you understand what heart pour means, <laughs> if, if I'm even using it correctly. But what I mean by that is I don't just gush over things in here. This is more like when I journal in here, it's more like a list or uh, some bullet points of what is done. Uh, very, very similar to how people doing Project Life use their Project Life cards. Um, so if you are at all familiar with Project Life, what happens is you put photos in a sleeve and then uh, you can also use what they call journaling cards and those journaling cards are there for you to kind of like fill in what is going on or what you want to kind of talk about. Maybe there was a story or something. And that's kind of exactly how I use my illustrated journal. I don't, like I said, uh, pour my heart out into it. Mainly, I'm, I am technically pouring my heart out because these sketches mean the world to me. Um, but I'm trying to do it in like all creative avenues that I enjoy. Uh, so that's kind of what my illustrated journal is to me, almost like a documented life book, um, or I don't even know what to call it. I call it illustrated journal because there's a lot of illustrations in here, but you can call it whatever you want. So uh, I'm sketching this pen because I did sell some fountain pens on, um, on Instagram just because I'm not using them um, and I, I don't like things to sit around. I know that sounds crazy, but if I'm not using them and I haven't touched them in a long time, then I go ahead and pass them on because one, sometimes there's always something new that I do want and so it's easy for me to say, okay, I don't use this, I wanna get rid of it and now I can buy the something new. Um, or two, I was always one of those kids when I was little that like had to play with all my toys because I thought that maybe um, the toys would be upset if I wasn't playing with them. <laughs> maybe that's crazy, but that is kind of the mindset that I have. So, and I, it's stuck with me this long. So if it is not being utilized and it is not the classic saying that probably everyone is so sick of, but bringing me joy, then I go ahead and pass it along. So I am still loving this ballpoint pen. I love the sketchiness of it, just like being able to like scribble. Um, it's almost like I'm adding these like great details, but to be real honest, all I'm doing is scribbling and it looks like a little bit of shading. I just love this technique and um, you know, I don't foresee it changing anytime soon. So I think it works with illustrations like this, or when I get down here to the eye, I think you're gonna see that it works in, um, you know, features and f like facial things just the same. Have you guys seen this documentary or show on Netflix? Um, I'm kind of into true crime type of stories. I listen to a lot of podcasts like Up and Vanished. 
Through these type of shows, it has opened my eyes and made me realize that I need to pay more attention to what we're doing. Um, and I'm glad for that because before I kind of was just the type of person that said, oh, if you know the government says it's okay, then it must be okay. And um, this is really not this in particular, but even down to like products that we put um, in our bodies and on our bodies, like lotions and soaps and all that kind of stuff, it's really made me take a step back and look at what ingredients are in things. I like documentaries, I'm obsessed with them, so if you have any documentaries that you've really enjoyed, it doesn't matter what they're about, honestly, I really like them all. So if you have any recommendations for me, let me know. I'm not big on TV, so it does take me a long time to get through TV shows, but um, I do enjoy a good documentary. I'm sure I've talked about this many times, but I love this thing. This is the Pentel Click Eraser. Um, I have not found a better eraser. <laughs> I'm sure there are, but I just love the fact that it's not a clunky eraser, meaning it's not a square or a rectangle, and I can throw it in with all my pens, and I just find that really, um, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, really handy because then it can just be thrown in with everything else. Uh, this is a pen pouch that I got from Sojourner and I really like it. It's the Jordan leather and I can house four pens in here. Probably if you were just housing fountain pens, it would just be three. But since these pens, these uh, pencils and such, the tools, we'll just say tools, are uh, not as thick as a fountain pen, then I can go ahead and fit all three in with that one. So there'd probably just be three fountain pens if that's what you were putting in here. But I really like that. Oh, I forgot to erase the top. This is a must have in my little arsenal of tools when I am working in my sketchbook. I like to draw in pencil first. I like to lay things out um, and figure out exactly where I want things before I start with pen. I think being able to, like if you were a person that could just straight up draw with pen and not have to use pencil, I think that's amazing, but that's just not where I'm at. And I don't pretend to be there, so um, yeah. But now I'm just going to paint these up. Um, I, like I said, have these two spaces, one and two, for uh, either a photo or some journaling. I'm not really sure which one yet, uh, so we, I'll probably do that off camera. But these two pieces that I'm working on, this is one of my sketchbooks that I've made. These two pieces of paper that I'm working on are Strathmore Mixed Media. And I really like those, like this type of paper for any kind of painting that I'm doing. Now I do, paint on the Tomo River, like this is Tomo River paper right here, as you can hear. I like that too, but I kind of save these pages, um, meaning the Strathmore paper pages, for when I'm doing something like this, because, I don't know, it feels a little bit more special, is that weird? And um, more of the Tomo River paper pages I use for like more writing if that is something that um, I need to do or get off my chest or something. Well, get off my chest, I'll probably do it in my uh, burn, burn book or my throwaway journal, but you get what I'm saying. I actually haven't used my... Um, my really good brushes, my silver black velvet brushes in a very long time. Like I think I think the only time I use them is when I am doing a take five challenge, which is ridiculous. I just, I've been sitting at the kitchen table, like this is the kitchen table, and this is how I've been working lately. And I just haven't gotten my silver black velvet brushes out. So I'm pretty excited because uh, over in 
the community tab on YouTube, I just gained access to that. So it's almost like sending a little comment, I guess. Um, if you're familiar with Patreon, it's very similar to the community tab on Patreon. But I'm really excited because it's just like a kind of a milestone on YouTube. So um, I have set up over there a little poll. If you haven't already kind of like checked it out and um, sent me your feedback, what it is, it's just a poll on what you like to see on my channel. Um, that way I kind of just understand where you're at and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, then you kind of fill that out and then I kind of go from there and figure out uh, like what other content that I can be creating for you all. So that's really fun. And um, I think I'm almost done here. I'm gonna add a little bit of this little uh, clicker like details. These are supposed to be silver, but I don't have silver. So what I did was I took a gold and I did it really lightly on there and then I did gray over it and it gives it that little metallic look. Um, you can kind of see it there. So um, I do want to take a finer tip pen or marker, mark, no, brush, <laughs> and I want to do making. Now I'm pretty sure that this isn't, I think it's black, I don't really know, but I'm gonna do it in this red color because I'm also going to add it over here somewhere. That way it kind of like pulls the page together a little bit. So I'm just filling this in with this color and I chose to do like, okay, one, if I would have used a bright red, then I would think that it would kind of look um, a little scary maybe, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna use this kind of like brick red and then I can add that in over here into the background and it kind of just ties it all together. And, and plus, since I used orange in the background over here, it'll blend really nicely to each other. So. And the orange was really blending into the kind of like craft color of the notebook. So that kind of made it stand out just a bit more. And then obviously it tied the two pages together I do want to come back in and give his eye some more depth. So what I'm doing was not only did I kind of shade a little bit with my ballpoint pen, but then where I shaded, I went ahead and put a darker color, darker blue on top of that. And so that kind of made it stand out. I'm doing the same thing over here in his eyes, like where it's supposed to be a shadow. I've let things dry and then I'm coming back in here and I'm I'm kind of like moving my um, my brush around just like I did with my pencil and kind of following those pencil lines and then just smudging it out so it's not such like a harsh line and that creates those shadows which I like and let's see, there's some little piece, like little bits in here. Your eye is not completely white, so it needs to have some shadow. Um, I'm using this like, it's called Titanium Buff. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of like brush that into his white of his eye. Um, his eyebrows, they are technically gray. So I'm gonna come in here with like when I say gray, I mean they are like white. I'm gonna come in here with some gray. I'm just laying down the color and then I'll kind of like, when it's still wet, I'll kind of just like tap it out and you get a light gray effect. So um, I might, since things have started to dry, I might to add some depth and dimension and stuff, I might come back in here and again, where things, where I laid pigment down with my ballpoint to create shadow, I might come back in here with my watercolor and that kind of like just, I don't know, gives it that depth that you look for. 
Same with the red here, maybe make it pretty heavy through here. And then I kind of wipe my brush off, get it clean, but yet still damp. So that way I can come in here and blend it out. So we got some depth going on. Let's do the same thing over here. I'm going with my finer tip and some brown. I'm gonna mix the brown and the titanium buff color. So that way it's not too dark on me. I think I got some gold in there too, so it's a it's kind of a pearlescent color, but that's okay. It's still working. There we go. And then I want to fill that in, and I think the background's orange, so I think I'm just gonna take, and it's a light orange, so I'm just gonna take a darker orange color and fill this in. And then take that same orange and create a little bit of a shadow through here and underneath. Again, cleaning my brush so that way I can blend. And we'll blend up the side here. Make it kind of come together. So I think I am finished uh, with the drawing portion anyway. Like I said, I'll do some journaling and add a photo later. Let me know if you do something like this in the comments below. Do you add photos or anything or do you just strictly draw? Um, is it hard to keep up with for you or do you do something kind of like me where some days you do it and some days you don't? I would love to have that conversation with you down in the description box below. And until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.